Hey guys, Nikki here. Um, so I thought I was just doing a uh, FAQ video, frequently asked questions, because there are a lot of a lot of questions that I've been answering repeatedly, and I've been asked repeatedly. Um, not everybody watches my every single one of my videos, so I don't blame them. But I just want to do this video just to get all the questions over with. Um, so here are a few frequently asked questions. Um, sorry that I'm not, this video isn't like fancily edited or anything, but it's just some frequently asked questions, uh, mainly about reptiles. So, um, first question is where I get all my pets. Um, I mostly get all my pets, well, all my reptiles I get from this reptile shop here in Hong Kong that I help out with. Um, I've been great friends with the boss for years. And he watched me grow up, so, you know, he's basically like my mentor. And, uh, yeah, that's, it's pretty obvious I get all my pets from there. Um, second question is my age. So many, so many people ask me for my age. But people ask from different videos and from different timings, so, I mean, guys, I do grow. So, um, currently watching this video, February 2013, I am currently 17. Um, I'm turning 18 in November, so, yeah, that pretty much just answers your question. Um, where am I from? Uh, I live in Hong Kong. The video you're watching right now, it's 9 o'clock, 9.30 at night, and, um, it's recorded in Hong Kong. Uh, I have been living in Hong Kong pretty much all my life, uh, but I am born in Canada. I'm from Canada. And I hold a Canadian passport, but I'm not Canadian by blood, obviously. Um, so, yep. Yeah. Um, fourth question is, uh, where do I get the time to clean all my pets? Well, basically, my schedule normally goes from, um, I take either a day or two days within a week where I completely wipe down all my pets and I completely clean everything um, in one night. Uh, because I help out at the reptile shop a lot, um, I've noticed that during, like, throughout the years, my skill and amount of time it takes for me to clean, um, all my pets, it keeps getting shorter and shorter. It, like, takes me less and less time to complete all of them. I mean, within my room, I'd say with 90% of my pets, I can go through all of them within two or three hours. That includes feeding, that includes completely wipe downs, that includes changing everything. Um, and I, yeah, that's basically about it. Uh, but it depends from time to time because I feed them at the same time. So, I mean, the amount of time it takes them for the, them to mess up their cage, tank, enclosures, um, to, it's around the same time where they completely mess it up. Um, but if someone specifically met, really makes a big mess, I would clean them, obviously. Um, fifth question are enclosures. Um, I cannot stress enough how many people have asked me. I get more requests on videos with my enclosures more than anything else. Um, the reason why I haven't done and I refuse to do any videos with enclosures is because the amount of haters that actually comment on my enclosures are larger than uh, the people who request it. And um, it's pathetic. It is a waste of time to even read those comments. It's annoying. It's disturbing. It gives um, some new viewers really bad impressions of me and I really don't want that. So, um, I'm sorry guys that I don't do enclosure videos, but that's just something that I'm so tired of and I just avoid. Um, so sixth question is, or seventh question is, um, about my hair. This is not reptile related, but lots of you comment about my hair. Thank you. Um, yes, I do do my own hair. Eh, there's something in my hair. But anyways, um. Yeah, I do cut and dye my own hair. I haven't been to the hair salon for about five years now. So, yep. Yeah. I have some hair videos if you guys want to check it out. Um, eighth question is um, about my experiences. 
I've been dealing with reptiles for about five years now. Um, it's not a long period of time, but I'm still young, so um, yeah, I'm only 17, as I said earlier. Um, uh, but the amount of experience, the time that I have dealing with them, and the opportunities I've had are beyond anything that I could have ever imagined with reptiles. Um, I have a great boss, you know, he's great, he teaches me everything. Um, there, I've met lots of very, very experienced people, very realistic people, so that's how I tend to grasp onto so many skills. Um, another thing, the next question is about haters. Um, there's so many people that read my, that see my videos, they try to correct me, they tell me that I'm wrong, um, they say that, like, my whole video is ridiculous, I don't do anything, and anyone shouldn't take um, any advice from me. Honestly, I don't need you haters to tell people not to take advice from me. If they decide to take it, they take it. If they don't, then they don't, you know. I respect if you don't take my advice, like, I'm not forcing you to, I'm just putting out videos because people request it and they want to watch it. If you don't like the video, it's simple. You just don't watch the video. You don't need to tell me how much you don't like it. Um, like, it, the way the people hate on it is so obvious that they're just trolling. It's just so stupid. Um, but anyways, another thing, like, with haters, they tend to tell me that I'm wrong. Um, one person said I didn't know how to handle ball pythons. One person said that my ball python enclosure is smaller than their corn snake's enclosure. Please, you have one corn snake. You're not going to be able to tell me what to do. That's just dumb. Um, another person was saying how um, I don't know anything or like tell me that I'm wrong with all these things. And it's just, it's just stupid, you know? Like, if you try to correct me a bit, I won't be mean. You know, I understand. Thanks. But, I mean, if you're just obviously trying to be mean and trolling, that's just so dumb. Anyways, on to the next question. Um, some of you asked me what's my favorite reptile. I'd say out of all reptiles, um, with snakes, I would say it is ultimately ball pythons or, um, red tail boas. I've never had a rep I've had one reptile boa, that's about it, um, because um, it's not very popular here and it's very expensive comparing to the US, so I'm just waiting till I move to the US till I start owning any red tail boas. Ball pythons, I love them, you know, I've been having them since I was 12, so. Um, and with lizards, my favorite reptiles would be either tigus or panther chameleons. Yep. Um, so, another question. Uh, lots of you asked me how many pets I have. They come and go a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Um, so, I would say currently I have 33. You can watch my video on my 33 pets that I've lately updated with. Um, and if you really want to go in detail with every single pet that I've had, you know, feel free. To go through all my videos um, when I do updates on um, whenever I get a new reptile. Um, last question is people tend to ask me why do I not have any spiders or turtles or tarantulas, whatever. Tarantulas, um, only one species of tarantula really interests me and that's the Brazilian black. Um, but my, <laughs> I have 33 pets. My parents are okay-ish, okay fine with it. Um, but what if I even own one tarantula, they'll freak out completely. Uh, turtles, I have one turtle. I had had two turtles. Um, I'm not a huge fan of them just because I think that cleaning them up is a lot more time consuming comparing to, um, like, lizards or snakes especially. So yeah, that's about it. If you guys have any more requests or questions, please inbox me, comment, and I'll always reply as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye!